you are as certain as you were then, if not more? I would say clearly more. I did freely admit, not in our conversation, but elsewhere, that I wasn't quite as certain about this bubble a year ago as I had been about the uh, tech bubble of 2000, or as I had been in Japan, or as I had been in the housing bubble of 2007. Um, I used to think then in terms of near certainties. This time I felt highly likely, but perhaps not nearly certain. Today, I feel it, it is just about nearly certain now. The hallmark of a bubble is what you have termed crazy behavior. What would you point to today, right now, as further evidence of crazy behavior? I think the crazy behavior, the peak of crazy behavior is behind us. I really do. I think uh, we're now in the buy the dip mode, which the super bubbles specialize in. You don't have two years of buying frenzy, the dying overnight typically. So even in 1929, you had some magnificent rallies. And uh, buy the dip is the watchword of practically every brokerage house out there. And it always is. You never, almost never, have a major brokerage house say, the game's over, guys, a duck. It doesn't happen. The commercial imperative is, is overwhelming to stay bullish. It's how you make money. If you're right, and stocks are in a multi-sigma deviation from the statistical trend, tell me what happens. The S&P 500 peaked at almost 4,800 points. Where does it bottom? The, the trend line, being slightly generous, is 2,500. And most of the great bubbles, the super bubbles, go below trend and stay there for quite a while. Uh, in the Greenspan era, that tendency stopped. In 2000, yes, the NASDAQ came down 82%, which was fairly brutal. Amazon came down 92 But the Federal Reserve raced to the rescue so loudly and strongly that they stopped the decline in the S&P at trend line. It only declined 50%. 50% is a hell of a big decline, uh, but it was only enough to get it back then to trend. This time trend is at most 2,500. And I would expect, even if the Federal Reserve tries to do the same, it will be hard to prevent the market from declining to that level. So we're talking about a decline of, certainly from the peak, of almost 50%. Almost 50%. And of course it declined very quickly 50% in 1929. It declined 50% in three years in 2000. And the housing market, which was another great American super bubble, went all the way back to trend uh, in three years.